Yes, so hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. In this episode, I am going to be rebuilding this bumpkin farm. Do you know why? It's broken. Yeah, it's broken. Um, if you have a look here, um, all of these pistons are permanently extended and that is because this bumpkin farm was pre-1.13 and it uses daylight sensors to detect when light is not present when a pumpkin grows in front of a piston because pistons used to allow light to pass through and now they don't since 1.13 I think so yeah now pistons permanently block light and the daylight sensor permanently thinks that there's a pumpkin in front of the piston and so it permanently extends the piston and this pumpkin farm is broken uh, I'm going to be tearing this down and I'm going to be rebuilding it somewhere else actually because this is slightly too far away from my main base and I can't I can't just have this passively run in the background because then it doesn't actually produce anything for me but I do have a spot picked out it is right here I thought this was pretty fitting being next to the Shogun King farm there and being next to my other farms and I'm, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging around here just to clear a bit of space but this farm, this new design, can be stacked vertically quite easily, so that's what I'm planning on doing rather than having a large field. So that should be pretty easy actually, and I guess I'll get on to work now. And actually, speaking of the sugarcane farm, it absolutely sucks. I should tear this down as well and rebuild it, but I don't use sugarcane anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right guys, so here I am in a creative world, and I've designed a pumpkin farm over here. It can probably be built better, but this is how I've designed it, and it's pretty damn good. Um, it needs two hoppers here, or else it won't be able to keep up with how many products it's producing. Look look at this, look at this. Just constantly filling up. Like, that's, that's amazing. And it doesn't really produce that much lag compared to some other farms I've built in a test world. And this is entirely possible, Y0 to build limit, entirely possible, you can do it in the end, or you can build a perimeter. All is possible in vanilla survival. Um, of course I won't be building something like this in my survival world right now. Um, that, this, this is for a future series, which you'll see one day, maybe. But yeah, this is absolutely insane, and I'm probably going to only build four layers of it. That should be enough for my survival world. And I think I'll make two of them pumpkin layers uh, because this design should also work the... <sighs> I meant melon layers. Yes, <laughs> melon. English. Good. Uh, two of them will be melon layers, two pumpkin layers, and this should work exactly the same for melons. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because they do make w more items per harvest than a pumpkin, and this uses a weird mechanic where if a piston pushes an item down into a block, it will be get picked up. Um, not sure how well that will work with pumpkins. I mean melons, they're the same thing basically. But yeah, I'll make two layers for melons, two melons for pumpkins, and it'll all be good. And yes, this does use an insane amount of resources. But this is, by my calculations, over 17,000 items per hour with this design, of course. So this is pretty insane, I think. And I'm gonna go build that in my survival world now. Now, I'm going to be building this farm within a chunk, as the farm was designed to be built, and I'm going to have melons on this side and pumpkins on this side, um, as in they're going to be stored like this, and that should be fairly simple to sort them, and then I'm going to have a chest back here, just a single double chest back there, uh, for overflow in case any of them get filled up and I don't want the whole thing backing up so yeah there will be an overflow there and I'm going to make it so that when there is an overflow there's going to be some lights that show up so that I know that I need to sort this out and yeah I think I'm just going to build this and maybe I'll show you some progress updates along the way but this is the location and you already know the design so here I go I have gotten eight stacks of hoppers so far. I need eight more for the four layers. I've been chopping trees for a good half hour now, and boy am I glad to have built that iron farm because 
that's a lot of iron, and I'm still going to need to make some pistons. So yeah, this this thing's good. I like it. I shall take the red sand and then your life. Hopper. 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 I barely know her. And so the pumpkin and melon farm is built. Um, it needs a little bit of touch up work on the side so it doesn't look quite so rough, um, but it's fully functional. I am like literally getting a constant flow of melon here. Uh, I might have overdone it with the melons. Might should have probably done a lot less, probably one layer at most. Right, yeah, I was smart. There was just a whole bunch in this hopper. Like twelve in one go. That that's a that's a lot of melon. So yeah, guys, I've I've got this room underneath the entire thing, and I decided that I'm going to have some chests here to store the melons because there's a lot of melon slices, and I can't be bothered to process them into blocks. Um, I'll make some kind of entrance here, I guess, eventually, uh, probably in just a few minutes. But I almost finished doing this, and I guess I guess I'll show you. What it's 
like at the very end. Right, so everything's done. I updated the map where it was appropriate, like over there and here. Um, and yeah, let's take a look. I'm pretty happy. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. So we'd be going down this path. And while we're here, let's take out that pumpkin farm sign because we've done it. We'd be going down this path and we've got the pumpkin and melon farm on this side. Over here, I've extended the path, finally removed this chest and bed and crafting table. That's been there since I built this. Yeah, it's been a long time, many years. Um, and I extended this path here and I made it smaller and not all path blocks to like show that this doesn't get used very frequently because I don't see myself coming here all the time. But yeah, got everything here, uh, got my melons going in there, pumpkins going in here, and any overflow will go into here. And if this backs up, I don't think it should be too much of a problem. It won't break anything. It can cause some lag maybe, uh, but I'm gonna guess that everything will despawn before it gets too bad. And over here, I've got a room. Can put my melons in here. Already got two double chests filled. It's quite, that's quite mad. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it here, I think. Um, I, I like how this turned out. Uh, of course this can look a lot better, for example I could have used coloured uh, concrete uh, for the corresponding layers and that would have looked a lot better but I didn't need it really and now I'm just gonna go do some chores I think after I'm done here I need to sort out the mob system, well, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff in the chest and it's about to start overflowing and if that overflows then this will break uh, the sorting system at least will uh, but yeah let me show you I, I've got two double chests for each mob drop uh, other than like special ones like witches yeah I've got two double chests so that's rotten flesh all filled up already got bones that's almost filled up gunpowder um, that's getting full arrows that's full and random stuff here. That's that's all right. I can leave this for a while. But yeah, I need to I need to sort this out. I'll move it to my deep storage uh, in my second base where this is gonna be stored forever, basically. And same with the bones. But I'll compress these into bone blocks. Uh, three bones per bone block. So that should save quite a bit of space. And I'm gonna be using the gunpowder a lot. Arrows I'll probably just throw out. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of chores. I need to restock my rockets. Um, need to get some better food. I, I actually made a lot of food just a few minutes ago. Well, hours. <laughs> it's been it's been a long time. Um, yeah, I've I've actually got myself a new shulker box here just for food. This has one harvest of my pig and cow farm in it with a looting sword. Yeah, let me restock my firework rockets move my stuff and maybe I'll call it done then. Okay, something else I just wanted to add real quick. I quite often need to get up there from around here, so I decided to add a path. I will probably do it, properly do it, and I'm actually gonna add a little path over here because I walk here quite often as well, and I'm actually gonna widen it by a little bit so it looks proper, you know? And yeah, I think that's good. And I'm gonna switch out a few of these for the proper blocks and I'm going to do it like I did back at the pumpkin farm where some of these aren't 
actually blocks uh, the grass blocks or paths that is so that it looks like it's not used very frequently because right, I think I think that looks good actually I, I like how it looks this guy again let's see what you have what do you have you have nothing of particular use maybe kelp yes actually you know what I'm gonna get some kelp real quick I'll be right back kelp there we go and now I can kill you nice so yeah I think I think I'll just connect this path to over here I'm gonna make it also not very trodden uh, get rid of that right uh, let's add that to it yeah something like that I think I think I'll leave it at that cool so now we have a proper path here I'll just slice it up and I guess I should add that to my map as well and then I'm gonna clear that out because that's gonna be causing problems very soon oh done this may be the best thing I've seen if you hold control R maybe just R you in yeah if you just hold I it will just automatically <laughs> throw everything out well R for me whatever your drop button is I don't know Q for most people I guess but if you just hold it it'll just do that and it oh, that saves so much clicking genius right I used every free shulker box I had so I got four shulker boxes of rotten flesh two shulker boxes of bone blocks and four shulker boxes of arrows so now I'll just go take them to the second base I guess and store them somewhere well the contents I want the shulker boxes back right everybody so I've just done a lot of maintenance I finished the farm in this episode did all the maintenance um, emptied the farms I mean by that yeah English very good um, added paths updated the map I, I did a lot uh, I'm quite happy and now I'm, I'm kind of out of time I, I just want to see how much iron do I have so I used up pretty much all of the iron for the pumpkin and melon farm, yeah? That that was a lot of hoppers. And now it's pretty much all back by the time I finish everything. So that farm is pretty insane, uh, as well as this in how many resources it takes. Um, let's hope I don't have to build this for a long time. A very long time, because that, that, that took a lot of that took a lot of stuff. But yes, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.